Today, in today's lecture, we're going to learn the classification of states. In previous lessons, we've learned something like、uh, so: where state is zero, and、uh, once we've、uh, reached state A. So, for example, this is a 0.5 probability, and we don't care other states. But then, states A. So we have probability one that next step we stay at states A. So we'll never、uh, leave state A forever. And today we'll theoretically learn some、um, some of our technical terms for the, these、uh, classification. The first one is、uh, accessible. So we say. So this is our first definition. We say state A、um, is accessible. From state i, basically it means、uh, we can get to state j from state i, and this is the equivalent of saying the transition probability of n step from i to j is greater than strictly greater than zero for some n. So it doesn't matter. How long does it take us from I to J? As long as we can from I to stay J, so then this is okay with the probability with the、um, non-zero probability. Then we say stay J is accessible from I. So what happens is、uh, if stay J. Let's say is not accessible from I. Then what happens? So what happens is、uh, we compute. So let's say、um, we start at I. And our Markov chain will ever be in state J. So we consider this conditional probability. Intuitively, this is zero. Okay. So how do we show it?、Um, by definition, this is apparently so. M is zero to infinity, and、uh, X n is j, so the union of all these events given, we start from i. Keep this in mind. This is union. Is because so union means means all, and、uh, it's、uh, x zero is in j. Or x one is in J, or x two is in J, etc. As long as we've been there at J,、uh, this is a probability、uh, we would like to compute, which is、uh, the probability of we starting at I and、uh, this Markov chain ever be in state J. And by a simple Venn diagram argument. So let's、uh, let let me draw this a Venn diagram argument. All right. So this is A, this is B, and this is、uh, A intersect with B. It's pretty straightforward to see that、um, probability of A union B, okay, which is.、Uh, These two circles, it's less than the probability of A plus probability of B, respectively. So because、uh, this one would be, these two would be. So this is A plus this is B. Okay. So the area of Of these two circles, so the area of these two circles is less than or equal to the sum of area of、uh, 
these two circles respectively. So now we use this uh, by induction. Okay. This is the union, and this is less than or equal to the sum of these uh, probability, um, every probability in this uh, union. And because now this is by definition, so not ac accessible, this is zero by state j is not accessible. Oops, pardon me. So is not accessible from i, then this probability is zero. What happens is that it's less than infinite for many zero. Uh, we sum up. This is the same thing as uh, the sum of this n step transition probability. So this is uh, zero. Now let's recall um, we say state j is not accessible from state i. Then what happens is If we start at i, the probability of this Markov chain being ever in state j is zero. Uh, and keep this in mind, in previous derivation, we normally require that. Um, so here is our remark. Um, we normally require that i is not j in this case. Because otherwise, uh, it's trivial um, by definition. By definition, we always have the zero step transition probability that is given. We are at, say, we're at time n, we're at state i and xn. So zero step, we've moved no steps forward. This is probability one. Okay, this is because this is like a already happened, and so this event has probability one. Now we want to introduce a new definition that is uh, communicate. So we say state i and state j. So this basically says I communicates with J. This is equivalent to saying um, I is accessible from J as well as J is accessible from I. It's easy, then it's easy to verify that the communication has three properties. The first one is, of course, I communicate with I itself. This is simply because uh, this is one. The second one is this communicate, this relation is commutative. So if I communicates with J, by its definition, it's naturally commutative. This implies J communicates with I. The third one is less um, trivial, but uh, we could see intuitively it's true. So I communicates with J. J communicates with K. Uh, then uh, I communicates with K. All right. Um, it's very very straightforward to verify using uh, 
Chapman Kolmogorov equation, if we want to compute the probability of ever and ever, um, we start from i, okay, and we'll ever reach um, this state k. We only have to find there exists a step such that this transition probability, no matter how many steps are, is greater than zero. And it can be straightforwardly verified by Chapman Chromography equation. Once we introduce an intermediate step, so the total steps here, we'll assume it's uh, m plus m. By Chapman Chromography equation, we introduce an intermediate state r. So from i to r, we spend n steps, all right? And from r to k, we spend m steps. And keep this in mind, so r is like uh, the possible value of r, 0, 1, etc. It's all the possible state. So this is all possible states, which j is an element um, of it. So by the non-negativity of uh, probability, um, of course the sum is greater than just one element of this infinite sum. And by definition, this one is greater than zero because I communicates with J this one is greater than zero because j communicates with k. So this one is greater than zero. Next, once we've defined this communication, um, this definition, we can introduce another definition that's called class. And we say that state i and state j are in the same class. So this definition is equivalent to saying i communicates with j. And naturally from uh, the property, three property we've learned earlier, two classes are either identical or disjoint. We'll see uh, in a moment, but uh, let me just uh, um, say it here, and we'll use the example to illustrate um, whether the classes are identical or disjoint. Let me first write down here. So classes are either identical or disjoint. And the last definition uh, in this video is going to be irreducible. Okay. So we say a Markov chain is irreducible It's equivalent to saying it has only one class, so for this Markov chain, and which is equivalent to saying all of the states communicates. So in next video, we're going to 
illustrate um, all these definitions using uh, different examples.